Hello my friends, welcome to channel. Today we will make a big jewelry set in one of my favorite techniques, Mokum Gain. I will use Sculpey clay in white, translucent, silver, jade, turquoise, black, one half cobalt blue and one half ultramarine blue and Fimo leaf green. We will use metallic base for ring. Also we will need simple silver hooks and many jump rings. I will use three different size and different shape of cutters. Those will be for necklace. Simple shape, just a bit smaller for earrings and bracelet. From tools we will need acrylic roll, many different ball tools and pins, elastic cutting blade and silver fall leaf. Warm up and mix your clay very well and from all colors make uh, slabs about 2 to 3 millimeters. all color slabs are done you will need cutter I use it in square shape side of my square is two and a half centimeters Start placing your squares each on other in color order as you like, but don't forget to repeat the same color order. If you don't repeat it, then in one side of cane it will be just one color and in other side it will be mixed color. It will make all your cut pieces more similar. In my case, my canes top will be more in white color, but you can do as you want. Clean all your surface and squeeze a bit the new cane. Don't make it round, but leave it in square. It will be easier to cut and easier to add uh, side by side your squares. 
then start to pin pinch uh, cut with cutters on your blade you need to deform all your new square cane use bow tools or needles and to make more interesting colors in cutted flat surface I added silver fall leaf Then use your acrylic roll to make it again in square. Make sure that cutted pieces won't open up and deform. Place your block up in one, with one color so you can't see stripes. Stripes will stay on sides. Then you need to use your flexible blade and Small piece by piece you need to cut your layers and so you can see new uh, texture and new design. Now you will need black clay and you need to form base color on top of what we will make our gallery design. When it's done, use your roller and make the surface more smooth. For our jewelry design, we will need hollow beads. You know I love it. I like very much how it works when the jewelry set is big and it is very in 3D, but it is very, very lightweight. So hollow beads are 
uh, the way you can make big jewelry and it won't be heavy. For earrings it will be two hollow ovals and two smaller squares but in flat. For pendant it will be big oval, big square and big drop in hollow technique. Also we will need flat shapes, uh, squares, nine pieces and ovals, also nine pieces, but we will use them in bracelet and in other earring set. I don't like to leave leftovers so I try to make maximum different shapes and then in other set I will use them. Cut small slices and roll over the sides of your hollow beads. It will make them more accurate. And also it will secure so they don't open. We will add pins and uh, jump rings. Let's assemble our jewelry set. Pick all your elements as it is shown on packaging on your clay. For me it is 40 minutes in 120 degrees Celsius. For necklace we will need 5 second clay and ending cups and I use 3 different, different color wires, waxed wire in 2 shades of blue and for our big oval shape I made loop from clay and I put it on our wires then I will need screw in pins also small drill and to mark spots where I will make holes I used my micro engraver 
from Bead Smith. I made two pairs of earrings, one is hollow big drop and second one is oval shape and little square in flat. For bracelet I will need 4 squares and 3 ovals and I will connect them in 2 places each so our bracelet won't rotate and won't spin around itself when we will wear it. So make holes, I marked it and make holes and then I covered all my beads in your design so they will be very very coral, colorful, bright and uh, shiny. So our big set of jewelry is done. 
I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. Bye!